Good day everyone, welcome to my channel and then in this tutorial video guys we will create a program to display the following table using C language we will call this program numer numerical table in C before we start I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers silent viewers in my channel and if you are new with my channel and then you like this video please hit the like button don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button so let's get started Actually guys, this problem, I converted it from C++ to C. This is one of the machine problem that is being shown to us by one of our subscribers here in the Philippines. Okay, so we have here, I'm using Div C++ in writing this program. So we have here, uh, comment, yours truly, you know, Jake Rodriguez Pumprada, Maeda IT, MIT, and then the compiler that I'm using is Dev C++. The date of the recording and writing this code is July 28, 2022, Thursday. My location is Bacolod City, Negros, Occidental, Philippines. Now, we have here machine problem. Write a program that displays the following table using C language. P, P multiplied by 5, by 10. So, we have here 5, 25, 50. 10, 50, 100. 25, 125, 250, 50, 250, 500. When you are encountering this kind of problem, we have to create an algorithm. So, this is already a fixed value, 5, 10, 5, 25, 30. So, the easiest solution is to create a one-dimensional array in C. Okay? So, to arrive with 25, we just multiply by 5 and by 10, multiply by 10. So, using a for loop statement, we can generate this. A table so we have your sharp include cdao.h cd means standard input output header file in c language int main it is a function in c no it is the starting and ending point of every c program so begin in p4 and then i enumerate the values 5 10 25 and 50 and then int a for our loop for loop statement print f to new line numerical table in c um, P backslash T P asterisk 5 backslash uh, T P multiply by 10 new line here using for loop statement we can we arrive with the solution 4 A equals 0 A less than 4 A plus plus print a percent horizontal tab T percent D backslash T horizontal tab T and then we are calling the displaying the values no the 5, 10, 25, 50 in the first, multiply by 5 and by 10. Actually, the code is very easy to understand. Now, what is important, guys, no, in analyzing a problem, whatever programming language you are trying to use, first, you create an algorithm. What are the possible solutions to this problem? And then you write the code. Okay? So, we close the body of our for loop statement and then the main don't worry guys because i will put a link in the video description where you can download the complete source code okay so let us go to execute compile and run so we have here the output numerical table in c p p multiplied by 5 p multiplied by 10 we have 5 25 50 10 50 100 25 1 2 5 2 50 50 to 50 500 Okay, so this is the end of our tutorial video. I hope that you have learned something new in this in this tutorial video. As I said earlier, I will put a link in the video description where you can see and download the complete source code in the link that I will give below in the this video description. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying... Bye-bye for now.